What has happened to my life as a result of this film, I cannot describe. But I have to finish what I started. I'm a documentary filmmaker, but I never expected to uncover the things I have. I think it's important that I address this issue head on, which is the only way that I know how to do it. This is Iron Addicts Jim. Miami, Florida. This raid was conducted as part of a bust into a steroid DEA raid agents that raided the facility. As far I mean, as Jackie, China right now, those DEA agents are still inside of the gym here, Iron Addicts Gym. The agents, along with U.S. Marshals, quickly began itemizing the gym equipment and hauling it off. Court documents also allege Rodriguez sold steroids through a website that wasn't licensed to distribute. Uh, before the fucking rumor mill goes wild. I am aware of the situation in Miami. On the morning of February 22nd, 2017, Richard Rodriguez, along with nine others, were charged with the distribution of anabolic steroids. Over $10 million was generated from this business in just under two years. Iron Addicts Gym was shut down. The doors of this famous gym were closed. The McLaren and Porsche sports cars were seized. All the gym's equipment hauled away. Everything was believed to be funded by the Wellness Nutrition Network. Its offices were upstairs. The United Gym in Miami has my likeness and they can use my face. And that was an agreement reached with one member of the original Iron Addicts group. I'm sure a lot of you have seen post already. Um, some of you may have seen CT's uh, video, but uh, I need to come out and address. Um, yeah, we had a situation today at Iron Addicts Gym Miami. And uh, I just want you all to know that it had nothing to do with me or Iron Addicts Gym Miami or CT. The investor slash business partner who was involved had some legal issues and it spilled over into the gym. Now this is where the story takes a turn. The powders that were used to create the drugs were purchased and shipped from China to a cookhouse in Phoenix, Arizona. Byron Oliver, an Arizona native, along with two others, created a makeshift lab where they cooked the powder into oil and then measured it into the proper proportion. They were then bottled and shipped back to Florida for distribution. So we ask ourselves, how could someone own a business and not see what was going on upstairs? Did he not see the thousands of bottles of anabolic steroids that were being packaged, labeled, and shipped from there? Mike Rashid's main place of residence, Phoenix, Arizona. Does he happen to know Byron Oliver? To think that, you know, you could uh, do things on a handshake like they used to do when I was a kid, but it, it's not like that anymore. So uh, as far as it goes with me, uh, my likeness is on there and my image is on there, but that's as far as my involvement with Miami goes. Here in the outskirts of Phoenix, Arizona, stands Desert Formulations. The steroid lab created by John Farrell and Richard Rodriguez. With lead chemist Jacob Liff and his assistants Byron Oliver and Xavier Apataka, 
The raw steroid powder was received here from China and composed into oil. However, little did they know, the DEA had a watch on this location for over two years. Two males, one African American, one Hispanic. DEA agents witnessed both Byron Oliver and Xavier Apodaca exit from the back of the building, disposing of two black bags. Black trash bags into the dumpster. Agents returned later that evening to investigate the location. Later on that morning, at 3.24 a.m., DEA agents revisited the location. The search revealed, among others, an empty package envelope labeled TPP-1 kilogram, which is used in the shipment of raw steroid powder. Four round tablets with the letters WFN. Other bags were also found with remnants of what further tests revealed as positive for anabolic steroids. These pieces of evidence were key in taking down the Wellness Nutrition Network. Now we ask ourselves, who is John Farrell and who was he associated with? Not only did he run this lab, but he was the main partner in the business. Shortly after his arrest, all these pictures and Facebook posts were mysteriously removed. Was Mike Rashid involved in this? Or did he help the DEA take down his business partner, Richard Rodriguez? My investigation continues. As we previously went over the WFN bust, the case files have been revealed. These fitness so-called celebrities thrived upon deceiving people for no other reason than their own financial gain. So many millions of people were lied to by the people they respected the most. As I continue research on the documentary I'm working on, I have received proper clearance to disclose some of the information I have received. This is an order placed to WFN by Mike Rashid, Richard Rodriguez's old business partner. This order contained Anovar, testosterone, nandrolone, and trembolone, where no prescription anywhere in the world exists. This is just one of many orders placed by Mike Rashid some including his friend Mark Lobliner. This is an order created by Mark Lobliner. It contained HGH, Anovar, Trenbolone, and Testosterone. This is Larry Wheels, powerlifting world record holder. Under the tutelage of Gilberto Mundo, he was guided in using anabolics while under the age of 21. He has broken several national records. His order contained HGH, Anovar, Trembolone, and Halotestin. Now, there is another person, one of the biggest fitness celebrities who claim that they are natural. Their order sits inside this folder. This is one of the most controversial orders to be released. We will now reveal that order. It's no other than Cali Muscle. This is only one of the orders placed by Cali Muscle to WFN. His order contained Anovar, Masteron, Winstrol, 
testosterone, HGH, and Ariminex. Now, Cali Muscle is just one of the names that is on this list of orders from WFN. There are many other big names that are going to come out in time. I never knew how big this case was when I first started. It's so much bigger than I ever imagined, and I never thought it would take me this far. I just wanted to make a great film. I never knew what it would do to my life. So, I bury all of this. I will not be releasing any more names. But the source will release it on their own. To be a true filmmaker, you have to be able to talk about subjects, some controversial. However, if you care about what others think, then you will never be great. I want to say thank you to everyone who supported me during the making of this film. If any threats are received as a result of this film, they will be turned in directly to the FBI.